You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure out ah. that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Come on, girl. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Alan, well, you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. <sighs> all right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so... What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Just okay. mix it together. It's Think not I too hard. This done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up? Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever... Think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, 
Any sign of him? It's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on. See if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. I'll take a look then. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we... Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. You only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. 
A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming, or... I'm going to stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Okay, then. Must be a way off.
eternity waits for us all. A witch eternity. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Okay, sure. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. All right, friend. Girl? Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. It's all right, girl. There, girl. Easy, girl. All right. Okay, girl. <laughs> Whoa there. Easy. It's all right, girl. Hey, girl. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Yeah. Can't be here. Get the hell away from here. Let's go, girl. You're done. <laughs> Any regrets?
Okay. Hmm. Come on. Hold still now. I need to focus. Calm down. Ah. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry. I'm not being forward or nothing, but you are. You're very sweet. Strange. And Horrible and in a Driscoll, but please. Hello, Art. So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though, I dealt with it. Arthur. What you want? Man, you want a sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Oh, only when I see you. <laughs>
You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romance. What is? Hope. Hope is.
north or south? Well, I sure ain't from the south. Lucky for you. Captain Hayden Russell, 29th Ambarino Volunteer Infantry. Do you bring news from General Scarlet? Who's General Scarlet? I'm awaiting orders. We will move on Lemoyne soon and take Saint Denis from the rebels. You do know what year it is, right? What kind of question's that? 1862, April 14th. Now move along, civilian, and watch yourself. Johnny Reb's in the area. Let's go, girl. Hi there. Don't believe we've met before. All right, girl. Oh, I know those scars anywhere. Looks like Barati met his match at last, huh? My congratulations. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. Pleasure doing business with you. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Kind pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth the lake work, I assure you.
A lot of folk want to apprentice under me. <laughs> I got no competition. Why would I want some? Oh, numb. Please hurry. <sighs> yes. Yes. <gasps> Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor... Dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. Yeah. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to... It's okay, girl. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me? is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir.
close now. Just a little further. What's your problem? Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Claire! I need to pass! What's your problem here? Greetings. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Yeah, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Let me know what you want, I'll bring it out. <laughs> Better luck next visit. Appreciate it. You ain't scaring nobody. What now? Watch yourself. That ought to do her. Step right up, Valentine. Step right up. Hey, careful now. Look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. 
attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, no, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Take me in. Take me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh. Oh, shit.
Necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. You more in Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. That other kid got his stack stolen? <laughs> Boss ain't gonna like that. Uh, sure, we're ready for that. Now, I've had my fair share of big nights in Smithfields, but a line of fellers doing a can-can? That's a first.
Now let's have a look in here. Thanks for your assistance. Partner? Let's go, girl. Good morning, mister. Hi, ma'am. Good morning, mister. 